Hi guys, welcome to Empower In. My name is Caroline Porter Thomas. Thank you so much as usual for watching my YouTube channel. So in this video, we're going to calculate a critical care medication, which is dobutamine. We're going to do several different examples and we're also going to program them into the IV pump. So before we get started, we need to know what dobutamine is. Dobutamine is used for the short-term inotropic treatment of low blood pressure, which can be caused by congestive heart failure, septic shock, cardiogenic shock, or following a cardiac surgery. I will note that in septic shock, fluid administration is the first treatment. If that does not work, a medication like dobutamine can be used. Dobutamine being an inotropic agent will help increase contractility, specifically cardiac contractility, which in emergent situations will help increase the cardiac output. It must be titrated based on hemodynamic responses, which include blood pressure, urine output measurement, heart rate, and whenever possible, central venous pressure. In this video, you will hear me say that the patient is unstable and that the doctor has increased the rate. This increase will be based on these hemodynamic responses. On a side note, I do want to apologize that during the recording of the video, my hand did get a little bit in the way, but just give it a second or so and you will be able to see the writing clearly. So let's get started. Okay, so let's say the doctor ordered, we'll put an O for ordered, five micrograms per kilogram per hour. On hand, we'll put an H for hand, we have dobutamine, 250 milligrams per 250 mLs. So our patient's weight is 143 pounds, so we need to put it in kilograms, so we divide that by 2.2, and we get 65 kilograms. You can always round, round up or round down, whatever is um, closest to the weight. Our goal, we need mLs per hour. Okay, so that is our goal, mLs per hour, because that's what we calculate all of our um, infusions at. Okay, so the first thing that we have to do is we have to figure out what our hourly rate is. So we're going to do this. We're going to take five micrograms times 65 kilograms, and then we're going to times that by 60 minutes because there's 60 minutes in an hour. So let's take that. So five times 65 times 60 equals 19,500. So this is our actual official order, okay? And this is going to be 19,500 per hour. So that is our order, our official order is 19,500 per hour. But what is it? It's micrograms. We're gonna take off this kilogram. We don't need it anymore. And then we're gonna say per hour. Now we have a little issue because this is in micrograms, but what do we need? We need milligrams. And we actually, our ultimate goal is mLs per hour. So we're gonna have to do some dimensional analysis. With dimensional analysis, it's kind of a cool way to calculate. There's many ways to get to the ultimate answer. I'm going to put a link to a video below that explains dimensional analysis, but this is how I do it. So this is in micrograms. I want to get rid of the micrograms. So I'm gonna set up the conversion like this. So 19,500 micrograms over one hour. And I got that from here, micrograms per hour. Now in dimensional analysis, you want to cross off the items or the unwanted quantities. So the unwanted quantity here is microgram. So I know um, because this constitution up here is 250 milligrams per hour and it's 200, or sorry, 250 milligrams in 250 mLs, it's basically a one-to-one -one solution. So I know that every mL, which is what I want, mL, and this is 1,000 micrograms. Because remember that every milligram is 1,000 micrograms per the metric table. So right here, I'm able to cross off these. And then what do I have left? mLs per hour, which is what I want. So then once you divide 19,500 by 1,000, divide 19,500 by 1,000. 
thousand, you might not need a calculator for that, you're going to get 19.5, and then what is it going to be? 19.5 mLs per hour, which was our goal. So that is our answer. So let's plug this into the IV pump. First, we need to turn the IV pump on. Give it a second to completely turn on. So we're going to say this is a new patient and we are in critical care. So confirm that. Then we need to enter the patient's ID. Then we select the channel. And now we can select the medication. We can select alphabetically where we need to go. So we're looking for dobutamine and you can see it, it is right there. I'm gonna go ahead and select dobutamine and we're gonna do a continuous infusion. This is our, there's many different um, orders and constitutions, but we have 250 milligrams per ml. And just verify that what you have chosen is what you actually have. Now you enter the patient's weight, which we know is 65 kilograms. Now what's interesting here is that you don't actually have to enter the rate. You can enter the other information that you know. So we have five micrograms. And as you can see here, it actually entered the rate. And I put 240 just so we don't run the bag dry. And then right here, you can actually verify. As you can see, it says 19.5 and the dobutamine five micrograms per kilogram per minute is flashing across the screen. Okay, so let's say our patient is unstable at the five micrograms per milligram per hour, so the doctor increases the rate to seven. So we're going to do the equation again. Ordered equals seven micrograms per kilogram per hour. On hand, we have the same, which is 250 milligrams of dobutamine per 250 mLs. Our patient's weight is obviously the same. It was 65 kilograms. Okay. So then what we're gonna do is do the same thing. So seven micrograms times 65 kilograms times 60 minutes and we're going to get our official order. So seven times 65 times 60, and we get this number, which is our official order, 27,300. And what is it? We're gonna cross this off now because uh, we already calculated it. Micrograms per hour. So that is our official order. Now we can continue. Since we cannot use micrograms because we have to be in milligrams, we need to do some conversion to get rid of the unwanted quantities. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to take 27,300 micrograms over one hour. We're getting hour from here. And then to get rid of this unwanted quantity, we're going to take, um, because we know that this is a one-to-one -one solution, so we're gonna take there is one ml in 1,000 micrograms. And then so this way we get rid of this and this, the unwanted quantities. We can multiply it out. If you don't need a calculator, that's fine. Um, 27.3, and then so it's gonna be 27.3, and then we're able to take mLs per hour. mLs per hour. And that is our order. So let's go ahead and plug it into the IV pump. 
From here, we can just select the channel. And we don't really have to start from scratch. We can simply select the dose and change that number. And as you can see, it already calculated the first Sorry, it already calculated the correct rate. It's a great way to check yourself. Okay, so our ordered has been increased to 10 micrograms per kilogram per hour. So we're going to obviously have the same on hand, which is going to be 250 milligrams per ml. The weight is not going to change. It is still 65 kilograms. So now we're just going to um, do the same equation. So it's going to be 10 micrograms times 65 kilograms times 6 60 minutes and that's going to be our official order 10 times 65 times 60 when you get 39,000 39,000 what is it going to be micrograms per hour we cannot use micrograms because our ordered on, on hand quantity is in milligrams. So we have to do the conversion. So we take 39,000 micrograms over one hour. We need to get rid of the micrograms because we need mLs per hour. So we're going to take one mL is or has 1,000 micrograms. We're able to cross these off. We can calculate it, or you can do it in your head. Divided by one is 39. So 39, 39, and then what are we left with? mLs per hour. So 39 mLs per hour. And that is our order. So let's plug it into the machine. So again, you can just go to channel select and change the dose. We're gonna change it from seven micrograms per kilogram per minute to 10. Just verify everything right here, just for a second. I like to take a deep breath during this process. And voila, there you go. I hope this video helped you out a ton. Please subscribe for more.